And does that need to do a test in Dorothy's voice? No, the levels are already gone. Yeah. So you'll be taking out like tense, 20 second, 30 second things out of this. Yeah, yeah. it'll probably be slightly yeah. longer than that, actually. Yeah. Uh, hi, my name is Dorothy Smith. I'm a visual artist and I live in Phibsborough, which is a neighbourhood very close to Grange Corner. Um, the, what started a lot of our work with um, the public around was a project I ran called Put Yourself in the Picture, where we asked people to take a photograph of, the place, of themselves in a the place they'd like to see changed and say what change they'd like to see there. So you weren't asking people for big sweeping ideas or policies or wishes or anything. It was very, very specific to a particular place. So we got nearly 50 very specific requests for changes within Phibsborough itself. And these really showed, they kind of went, they, they, you, know, you can see general themes running, running through this. And one of them was that people didn't feel safe. Pedestrians and cyclists felt unwelcome. And um, there was a real desire to have a, a, a life in public, which wasn't um, really, the, the possibilities weren't really there at the time. FIPSO has changed a bit since then, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. But public life, as in literally restaurants, cafes, um, outdoor spaces where you could kind of comfortably sit, meet, chat, just linger for a while, as well as the development of infrastructure, which is almost there, because we have a canal and a towpath that links to the Shannon, that links to the Liffey, which doesn't link to the Shannon, or the Liffey, it doesn't even link, you know, a few miles upstream. So there's all this infrastructure that's almost there, um, that if, as just, if it was developed, it just gives opportunities for people to be out socialising, meeting people, etc, etc, and it just adds a huge amount of quality to everyday life. I think that the traditional way of, um, you know, engaging people in the whole process and talking to people and everything, it, it doesn't work for an awful lot of people. Uh, people aren't going to sit down and uh, their email and compose paragraphs about how they, what they think should be done and how they feel. So I think there needs to be a different way of engaging with people. And also the meetings that are common, and which, which are all a really good thing, they will only attract certain people to them and some people are very bad at speaking in public. So it, it just eliminates an awful lot of, of, of people, an awful lot of people and a lot of, of thoughts and feelings on this subject. So there needs to be, the, the, I'll go back again, the butchers out of the picture, it was a very, very simple idea, but it pinpointed, um, it pinpointed everything that, that could be risen in, into a policy level. It, 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 touched, it, it, it ticked all those boxes and made all those points, but without saying it was doing that. It was just, well, how do you feel about your environment? What would you like to see change? What would make a difference to your life? Rather than thinking in like a bigger overall picture. So I think sometimes if you, if, you, if you draw back from the general to the particular, you know, what is it about this that affects your life? And what would you like to see done differently that will affect your life? And if you get all those small points, it, it builds up into a much bigger, clearer picture.